So this is the stove from the last video that we made. I've done a couple things since. I threw one of the lids on the brake lathe. Closed, this way it's open. So we're gonna experiment with that today. That way we can uh, regulate the amount of uh, airflow when we're trying to start the stove up. And then once it's running, we can close this and hopefully that'll really work well. I got a little creative here and I put my uh, logo on there. And I, I, I made another one for a friend. This, this stove's a little bit different. This one's a flat top. He's gonna to use this more for cooking and smoking things. So this one I actually use an old welding hammer. This is the uh, the spike and this is the chisel. This is the old hammer and I put a grill in there. So this is just sort of a proof of concept. This grill might not be the most durable grill. We'll probably wanna use stainless steel, but once it's going and you're down to coals, you can just fit that in like that. And you can put whatever right down there. You know, the welding hammer, uh, old tool kind of fits with the theme of it and the other half of the emergency brake bracket from here is what I used for the uh, the door stop on here one other thing that uh, I did sort of kind of spontaneously uh, you know off camera was I welded a nut on there for a, another little stop so that we have a good a good over travel stop and then that really works good so there we go Ultimate Canadian fire starter, right there. Not recyclable, it's the best way to recycle. We're gonna leave it open for starting and close it for running. Okay. Let's see how this is working. Some people say that, you know, you should just use a 55 gallon drum or something, you know, easier and lazier if you ask me but this is uh, a little more aesthetically pleasing. It's much thicker steel, you know, and uh, also I feel very safe doing this. Uh, I know a few people who've, who've gotten hurt really badly cutting open drums. Like uh, the last one I know of was a guy was cutting open a drum of peppermint oil and the stuff is not labeled as being flammable, but uh, the drum exploded and he was hurt pretty bad. I actually think he bounced off the ceiling when he was doing it. We'll put a proper handle on here, something like this after, with a couple of stoppers. So it'll go click open, click close. But this is just an experiment for now. I didn't want to get too carried away. If, if I don't like how this works, I'll probably just clean the whole thing up and weld this completely on all the way around uh, in order to seal this completely if, if I don't like how it functions. So I'm pretty happy with how our first test went. Uh, everything works pretty well. Uh, the air valve works pretty well. It's still going right now, but uh, just barely. If you like this kind of thing, uh, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments about any other sort of things you might be interested in and uh, we'll see what we can do.